What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my beautiful wife here, Sharice, are bringing you guys good tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully enhance, entice, and improve your relationship or future relationship if you're not in one currently. So this should help guys and girls out in all these situations that you might be coming through. And you know what? If you've been dating out there, it's not so easy. It never has been, but I think it's harder than ever. And I haven't been in the dating game for almost 14 years now. So I'm really out of touch as far as that goes. Yeah. But yeah, I'll never be in the dating game ever again. I do live vicariously <laughs> through all my friends and what they tell me and all the things that they have went through, currently going through, or just things that they say is out there that I think is just absolutely insane or crazy. Slightly abnormal. But that is the environment that we're living in, that you're living in. So we got to adapt to it and hopefully get over and overcome and find love in all the right places and not the wrong ones. Mm -hmm. So let's get it on today. So this one, I guess, is good for anybody that's getting into the dating game. And like I said, I haven't been in a long time, but it's a pretty good way to start, I guess, any date. And that's the top three questions you would ask on your date. Now, I'm sure my questions will be a little bit different than Sharice's questions are going to be. And I guess in the scenario that you're going to be in, the questions might change, right? So we were talking about this earlier, like where, you know, if you're going on a date and you're just going to date to date per se or grind or whatever is out there. Tinder. Tinder Binder, or whatever. Binder, um, you know, those questions might be a little bit different on your first date because you're really not looking for love, right? You're well, just like, hey, have you ever had an STD? Uh, have you ever had this go on? Oh. Those are the serious questions you're gonna ask if you're swiping to the left and you really don't care, oh, right? Oh man. Let's be oh, realistic, man. guys. Oh, Come on. Wow. I'm the realist. I'm gonna take I'll take full credit for that. <laughs> you know, I'm the one that's gonna tell you how it is. And you guys know yeah. that if you're the swipers, you're gonna wanna know that answer. Now what you ask, uh, that's a whole nother question. You might not get the right <laughs> truthful answer, even if you ask the right questions. Yeah. Right. Uh, so let's talk about. So you know, what? What are yours? What are yours? Well, are yours? if it's a romantic type thing, I want to know just generally speaking. And who cares if it was romantic? Or well, not, I mean, right? if, I, if I'm looking for, like, if, if yeah, it's, like if you're gonna like be on like date? a real date, yeah. Okay, so a real date, right? I'm gonna ask a couple questions that I can find out some things about the girl um, to go on to lead into more questions or to find out, you know, what some of their likes are. So obviously, you know, what do you like to do? Because what do you Thank like God to do? Your, what's your favorite color? I feel like that's no, like no. The, what, the, what's your favorite <laughs> color? I think is six yeah, months in. Yeah, I think that's like down the road. Like you know, you want to learn more about your partner. That's another like what you know, your hobbies are. Is that what you're saying? Well, no. What do you like to do? What do you like to do for fun? So when you're not working, right? What do you like to do for fun? Is it going out to the movies? You like to go out to the beach if you live in Florida? Um, you like to work out or exercise? Like. You know some sort of things that re you really like to do like some people are into comic books some people are into jewelry some people are into fashion you know there's all these different things that you really don't know like you can't judge a book by its cover because i can go up to somebody and think and stereotype well i i think they're like this and that and then you ask them these questions and it's totally different from what i may have perceived mm. right True. you know so you, you really can't judge a book by its cover so like I know like when we, me and Sharice first started dating, she didn't think I liked hip hop music or new hip hop music and stuff like that. And so she actually heard me like singing some songs. She's like, oh my God, I, like, yeah. Like, I oh like my all God, forms of you, music, like, right? you like rap music? I like all forms of music, except for country. <laughs> Just hate me or, or love me. I'm it not doing country either, sorry. But I'm not a country person. Even though I rode horses and did all this stuff growing up, I don't like country music. It just it, it doesn't do it for me. Oh. Um, and that's okay if you do too, <laughs> because everybody should like everything different. Exactly. Or it's totally up to you what you like and don't like. Um, so at that point, you know, I'm going to ask what, what they like to do, right? Because that's going to lead me on to talk about something, you know, what they like or what maybe we more both topics, like, I guess, right? Yeah. More topics or future date, yeah. right? You get that information. A non-future date. You know, right? You, you put it in the, the, the memory banks and then you know, like, oh, well, she, wants, she likes to go horseback riding. She likes to go whatever it uh, is. He likes to play video games. Uh, we're not going on another date. Right, right. Well, you, I mean, <laughs> you go to Dave & Buster's. So, you know, there's, there's I love Dave Buster. See, and you can play video games and you can have some liquor if you want to. You can eat there, you know, whatever you want. Maybe you're dating some girl who has kids and Yeah, that would be my first question is do you have baggage? And I'm not talking about the luggage you take on a plane. I would want to know if you yeah. have children. I mean, that that honestly I, I mean, before I met John, that that was a deal breaker for me. Is that the first question you ask? Um, yes. 
Okay, so you guys meet, or like, so when you're on the phone, you're like, oh, we go out with me or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. That's how it used to be, I don't know. So you go out with me, yes, okay, I'll pick you up at 7 p.m. Yep. Right, so you pick them up at 7 p.m. You're in the car. How's driving. your day going? What, how, how, what's going on with you? You know, you have the typical conversation. And you really, truly, well, I find my way to get this answer no matter what, because this will judge whether the date is going to be 30 minutes or the date well, might, might last the whole night, right? Oh, wow. Because that would be a deal breaker. You would figure you'd want some of the deal breaker questions to try to get out as soon as possible. Yeah. So you're not wasting time, right? Cause you can't get time back. Yeah. So why waste time? I mean, unless they're just a good person and it might be a cool friend down the line, that right. might be a different story, right, right. but that's going to be one of the very first questions I'm going to get out of you. Like, you know, I don't have, so have you ever been married before? Like, have you, have you ever had any kids? Or These are pretty like serious that? questions right after that though. Right? I, I would love to know. Right. You're, I'm going to find out. <laughs> Second question I would say is, you know, what do you like to eat? You know, what's your favorite food, right? Because that's setting up dinner or maybe we're going out somewhere and hopefully the menu has that on it. That would probably be my second question off the bat. That's so nice. I would be, I would, I would know, the, you know, what, what your likes, dislikes are right, right off the bat. What do you want to eat? Because everybody has to eat, right? Whether it's a guy or a girl, everybody has to eat no matter what. Um, and you can kind of choose based off that and kind of go go to some place maybe they have everything that you like and they like and you're, you're good right instead of like somebody saying i'm a vegetarian and i take them to a steakhouse <laughs> right. now they, they might, have veggies they have they have some stuff um, but you know it's just like oh man Oops. i hate meat now you took me around meat like it's just a deal breaker for them like so it is what it is um third question i would say what are you looking for right like, what are you looking for? Are, you know, are, are that's a pretty in-depth question, I believe. Well, I mean, I think that's that's a good question to go off of. I mean, because you know, like, hey, are you looking, you know, dating or you know, you know, everything like that? I would stay away from questions about exes. I, I don't, I don't think that's a good one to talk about on the first date because you're always going back to talking about your ex and negative stuff. I'd like to stay in the positive realm. You know, I think the positivity needs to flow, and then yeah. later on in the relationship. You know, you guys can kind of... I, I do all, it's gonna the, come up, right? all the very serious questions, I certainly get out right away. So my next question would probably be... I don't be, think she ever asked me if I had kids or if I've been married. I, no, I, I knew he didn't have kids. Oh, she knew. I already did background check on John. Oh, she knew. I already knew. I already knew. Watch out. Now. I knew. I knew. So, and listen, if, if you're able... If you know a friend of a friend of a friend that knows the person that you might like or that you think about might you might want to date... You might start asking some questions, so maybe you can. You don't have to ask the question, right? Unless they have some, you know, family that they have uh, hiding in some other state or something you don't know about. Yeah, I see. But um, the next question I would personally ask is, you know, like, what do you do for a living? You know what I mean? I, I would love to know what do you do for a living, and I could really care less. It's not really like a money question. It's more or less like, what do you do for a living? Like, what that's gonna that's gonna kind of show like, all right, how many hours are you working a day? Are you working from home? Are you working at work? Are you on a truck? You know, how many people are you around? This, I mean, I I would want to know what you do for a living. That hmm. would make that would that would I would want to know that in the first date. Yes. I mean, I think in the first date I would ask that question too. Yeah, like, right. What like, what do you, what do, you, what do, you do, do? What do you because, do? How, how many people do you meet? And you're like, so what do you do? I mean, you can even be at a bar, right, and be like. So what do you do for a living? You know, it's, just, it's like, it is a very, I, yeah. I think a very common question. It's a very common question. Um, and you know, I don't know how I feel about the question anymore because like just yesterday, right? I'm sitting at the house and I've got like, you know, we're a brand new house. And we've got all these contractors coming in. It's <sighs> like six contracts. And literally like they'll come in, they'll <sighs> see this stuff around, like the cars and stuff like that. And that's the first question I ask me, man, what do you do? Well, like, that's, I, a that's a different, that's a different, I tell setup. Them, like, that's but, a different setup, a different story. But you know, but, but do girls the same way, right? Like you drive like this, this fancy ass car or whatever it is. Like, what do you do? Do they ask that to some guy that's driving like a Nissan Maxima or whatever it is? Well, let's, let, let, let me ask a question, right? From a, a girl's perspective and maybe it is a guy's perspective, right? If you were on a date or going on a date with a girl, right? Would you want to know if she was maybe a dancer? Would you want to know that? I mean, I, I think, you know, you, you want to get in the conversation of what they do for a living. Because, we want to get that out. Like, well, you you know, want to know. You know, I, I think, I I think know. that's something that you do want to find out about somebody because, you know what, there's different things that people don't like, right? There's people have different morals, ethics, boundaries. And, um, you know, one person might have different boundaries than the other person does. And that's just not going to mix with the other person per se, right? So like here in Florida, if, you know, you get a, 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 approached by, let's say, a swinger, right? And you're not into that lifestyle, right? Uh, then you're probably uh, not going to go 
recruited pretty well, though, it's going to be two different thinking. Or you might go into that. Who knows? But, you know, not until you ask these questions are you really going to find out. And this is why you ask those questions. It's key. It really is key to ask, you know. So <laughs> just think about this when you're going on your, your dates, your relationships, you know, where, where you're trying to, to break the ice. You know, you want to ask some of these questions because you want to find out more about them, if it's going to be a right fit for you and what you're looking for. And you know, what you're looking for and you find might be totally different. You might be happy about that. You never know until you get in the situation, but you need to know that information to start somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. So these are just some <laughs> tri tips, tricks, and things that will help you guys out down the road. If you have to have, go on a date or whatever it is, make sure you find out information about them, maybe about their past and You stuff know, it's like right that. though, John is so right. I must say this before we end the show, right? I, I for sure, I thought John was a DJ when I met him. I did. He, I mean, he wore his hat like it was cocked to the side, and you know, he looked like you know. Was, I mean, I, he just, I, I, I don't know where I got that from, right? But I didn't ask the question, and that's not what he did for a living. Yeah. All right, guys, <laughs> we gotta go. Thank you guys for tuning in to Cupid's Corner. Check us out every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC, or you guys can DVR it or go to YouTube and type in Tight Medical Center and see all the great shows that we have to offer you guys. I'm John. I'm Sharif. We'll see you guys next Sunday on the Cupid's Corner. See you then.